So we are looking at chanson and really what we're going to be looking at is bar 17 to 24 but I've labelled this video the way I have just so that you don't think that I've missed anything out but basically if you are looking on how to play bars 9 through to 16 it's all material that you've already covered so if you have um, watch the videos, the tutorials for bars one to four and five to eight, then you already have everything that you need to know for nine to 16. Um, what would be a really good idea is to listen a lot to the playthrough of the whole piece, just so you can see the geography of the piece and how it all fits together. That's always a really good idea to do that. Okay, so bars 17 to 24, we are going to have slides. So I want you to get your right hand, put your thumb on the E flat. So it's not the one just above middle C, it's the one above that. Miss a string, second finger on C, third finger next door, fourth finger next door. Okay. And this is the shape that you're going to need for the whole of this section. So sometimes we're here with the E flat at the top and sometimes with the same shape, we're here with the F at the top. So just feel what that shape feels like because you're going to need to um, place that shape quite a lot and quite quickly as well. Okay, in terms of the rhythm it's jello jello blue, jello jello blue repeatedly, okay. Um, and how we're going to play it is we are going to slide our thumb onto the D so that we get five notes all playing downwards in a row. So what a slide looks like, if you haven't done it before, it's not kind of you play it and then you go on to the next one and it's not like your thumb slides like this or anything like that. So it's, it's quite a small movement, but the thumb in playing the E flat string is actually gonna land on the D string. So it's like one movement that does playing the string and also brings you to the next string. So some people sort of play it and then do that and think that's a slide. That's not a slide, that would be something different. A slide, we actually land on the D. So you need to try that a few times until it feels comfy. But that's gonna be the start of our phrase each time. Okay, so now I'm going to play you um, bars 17 to 24. And what you'll see is you get um, two, groups with E at the top, then two groups with F at the top, and then as an echo, another two groups with E at the top and another two groups with F at the top, and then we'll put in the left hand afterwards. Okay, so this is from bar 17 to 24, just the right hand. the left hand in. So the left hand in the whole of this section, there's only two different notes. Um, you're either going to be on the F above middle C or you're going to be on the B flat, just one string below middle C. So those are going to be your two notes and it's always going to be with the second finger. Okay, so when it's the E playing, it's the F. So don't get caught up by that and think, oh, that's a clash. It's supposed to be, um, well, it's supposed to sound how it sounds. So um, don't get put off and think, oh, the F's got to come with the F. It doesn't. The left hand F comes with the E flat in the right hand. And they're just long notes. So you get one at the start of each group. So it's going to sound like this. And then we move to the B flat as the right hand moves to the F's. And then the same thing again, but quiet. And then after that, after you've played bar 24, if you've been listening to the playthrough, you will know it then goes right the way back to the start and you play through until where it says fine on your music, which is spelled like fine, F-I-N-E. 